Good morning, this is David with Mercer Outdoors. Got something exciting to show you today. I'm gonna go through uh, the setup. I wish I just turn around so I can show you. Setup of our new GB124 with the Earthworks Go Tremble system. So you guys follow along. I know this is outside the normal for my channel, but love outdoors, love technology, and this is, uh, so I brought you to work with me today. Hope somebody can learn from this experience. So you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, this is the go box right here. We're gonna attach it to this magnet, this plate right here. It's got magnets on the bottom. That's gonna hold it firm. I do recommend putting a strap around the top as well. I'll show you that in a minute, the way I do it, because I have seen it bounce off before. So uh, it's the only thing I've noticed that I didn't quite like is the magnets don't seem to be quite strong enough, but easy fix. Okay, like I showed you, it's not pretty, but there's a strap around the box just for extra protection. But like I say, the magnets, I have seen it move a little bit when you, if the train is a little bit on the rough side. So better to be safe than sorry. See, you got this plate right here, so that changes the height of your mast. So you need to measure from the top of the mold board up to the bottom of your mast or your laser receivers. Make sure they're both the same height from the mold board as a starter. So we've got those attached. Now we'll start hooking up the cabling. The cabling's gonna go from the bottom of each laser receiver down to our box here. And I'll show you which one goes where here in just a minute. Make sure your cord stays free of any pinch, pinch points around this cylinder here. Magnet here, magnet here, magnet here and then to the right front port on the grater attachment. That's, your, that's the cable into your box. So now, got each of our cold cables going from the two rear ports on either side up to the laser receivers. And that takes care of your cabling. So now, all that's left is getting in the machine interfacing the machine with your phone and the go and the go uh earthworks go system i'll show you that in just a minute okay in this machine with me now first thing we're going to do is make sure we're in tool mode we are okay so got to go to your phone or mobile device go to Wi-Fi make sure we're connected to the go box we are so close that now I'm gonna go over here to our Earthworks Go let's turn it like this Earthworks Go app So it's saying connection lost. So let's go to the dashboard. Okay, so password is stay on grade. So we can just copy that to our clipboard. Go to Wi-Fi settings, make sure we're connected. Tell you what, I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off, turn it back on. So it automatically connected me because I've already connected to this Wi-Fi before. If this was your first time though, you would paste the password we just copied into the box and you're set, ready to go. So I'm gonna close that screen, go back to the app now. It's searching. Okay, just bring up the app. Let's go to Go Box, connect copy password just in case it doesn't save go to Wi-Fi settings 
turn Wi-Fi on. Go box. So it autom automatically connected for me. So let's see if it'll work now. There's the app firing up. The go box light blinks. So look over there. Our green light is blinking. So we're going to click yes. So we're connected. So we're going to hit the check mark. Ready to work. You need to complete a few tasks to make the system work. So hit yes. Did you move the go box since your last used the system? I did move the go box, but I put it back this morning in the exact same place it was. So I think it'll be okay. If not, I'll walk you through this, the calibration procedures again. It basically just calibrates the orientation of the blade, slope percentage and all of that. So I parked the machine exactly where I finished yesterday. The blade is already orientated to grade. So it should make my setup really, really easy. So I'm gonna hit no right here. Okay, so the machine's ready to use. I don't have the laser turned on yet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get back out of the machine and we're gonna find the lasers. I'm gonna adjust the laser up till we can see, till the receivers see the lasers and zero them out. See you in just a minute. laser on it's mist and rain on us a little bit this morning so hopefully that won't have a negative effect we're gonna try it okay so I'm gonna raise my laser beacon up until my receivers okay so the lasers are found and right now So it's saying the laser needs to come up 0.4. So I'm gonna just increment it up until I get zeros. So that's a zero on the right, 0 0.02 on the left. Okay. I think that's pretty close. All right, so I'm going to snug my adjuster down. As you can see there, we're, well, it changed a little bit. Let's, let's get it a little bit closer. So I think I need to come back down. There we go. now we're about ready to do this let's get back in the machine okay I think we're all set so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the idle of the machine wide open turn the parking brake off Make sure we got control of the blade, we do. So my right joystick controls the blade, left, right, up and down. Rocker switch up, sweeps left. Rocker switch back, sweeps right. The left uh, trigger the left trigger um, turns your automatics on and off. There we go, automatic is on. We're ready.
bit heavy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to increment up about a half a tenth. Let's turn auto off. Increment here. And I can just hit the arrow up. Left. I mean the right. Let's do the left the same way. Now turn the automatics back on. Hope you enjoy.